half of turns three and four they come. Chase will give them the green flag. We are underway. And RJ Murphy sets the pace, heading into turn number two and into the back straightaway. Starts to pull away. Zach Keith slides up for second with Dylan Calabro. Settling in for third. Bryson Robodeau takes a look into the inside, backs off the throttle. Into turn number four. Keith got very loose. They slide way up the racetrack. Three wide for fourth. Three wide for seventh. And it's turn number two. That's what I call a hornet's nest there. But right now, RJ Murphy in the lead, followed by the 38 of Bryson Robodeau. Yeah, Robodeau v. Robodeau for second. Murphy able to gather it back in. Got scary there for a minute. Bryson Robodeau. They are four wide. Oh, oh, and we've got it. trouble in turn one as well. Caution flag on the speedway. Two laps in. Morabito. Rio around in turn four. Keith went a little too hard in the turn number two. He ended up coming together with Murphy there at the very end. Both Robodeaus went around. Mikey it Laforte. Brady Connors is a second generation race. So we'll get back to that in a minute. Green flag is given off of turn number four. They come, and this one will stay green. Bryson Robodeau got a great jump off of turn number two. He starts to lead into turn number three. Something might have broke on that 82. He slid way back to the racetrack. And tell me if you've heard this story before. Robodeau and Vanessa up front here at Seekonk in the outlaws oh heavy trouble in the turn number one couple cars getting together murphy goes around hard hit into the wall and brent lead the charge to the start finish line bryson robito gets a good jump off of turn number four into one and two they go it is carl vaness taking away that second spot they are double wide gomes and ryan vaness for that third spot into turn number four bryson robito finds himself atop the field the 38 leads the 78 down into one and two. That is Robodeau and Colin Vaness. On to the back stretch. Here comes Ryan Vaness Jr. And looks like the it's Gomes in fourth. And Bryson Robodeau opening up a two car length lead on Colin Vaness. Ryan Vaness outstretching Gomes. That's the battle for third. He takes it away. They are double wide though for fifth. So it's Mikey LaFord and Dylan Calabro, teammates battling one another. Back to the top of the field. Robodeau, half a car length on Colin Vaness. He starts to slide up on the inside. Runs out of room into turns three and four. Bryson Robodeau, Colin Vaness, that's the battle for the lead. The battle for fifth is still the 71 and the 19 as the top four skates away here down the back stretch. Colin Vaness taking a dive down to the inside into three and four. Colin Vaness takes away the lead from Bryson Robodeau. Across the start finish line they go. Robodeau hangs on for third. Vaness in second for the moment into turns three and four they go. Cousin V. Cousin for the lead. Colin it takes it away from Ryan. As they cross the start finish line, nine laps on the board. Yes, we've passed halfway here. Business is certainly about to pick up in the final stretch here. The battle for third right now is between Robodeau and Gomes coming on a four. Across the stripe they go, and Colin Vaness maintains a car and a half length advantage over his cousin Ryan. Gomes and Bryson Robodeau, neck and neck for that third spot. Action all over the speedway here on the back stretch. The battle continues to be for fifth place as there's the 19, 71, 66, and 17 and three battling, of course. Into three and four they go. That battle for third still heating up between Bryson Robodeau in the 38, Andrew Gomes in the 10. Robodeau crossover across the start finish line, takes that spot away. We've got Three to go, and here comes Ryan Vaness Jr. on the back Vaness stretch. Vaness slid up the racetrack. Robert I found a seam in the middle. He will come out of it with the lead momentarily into turns three and four. Vaness and Robert are even, even Steven into turns one and two. Vaness, Robert side by side, heading into turn number three. They'll see the white flag when they come off three and four here, and it's anybody's ball game. Top four, nose to tail. Colin Vaness starting to break away from Bryson Robodeau. Into turn number two they go. Vaness sliding up the racetrack. Takes the lead away from Bryson Robodeau. Sets the pace into three and four. Off the corner they come. Colin Vaness opens up. Here comes Bryson Robodeau down the inside. At the stripe it's close. Give it to Colin Vaness for the win. 
Bryson Robido. Robido finishes second as he come ac comes across the start finish line practically sideways. Andrew Gomes rounds out your podium, but what a finish. How about a round of applause? Come on this, your winner here in week number five. Andrew Gomes, no stranger to the podium. The car was fast. That battle in front was really, really intense. Yeah, that was a great battle. We were switching positions back and forth. That's probably the most, the best battle I've had in quite a while in these cars. Yeah, the car looked good. Do you think if you had a couple more laps, you were able to sneak in on the inside, maybe get him? Yeah, maybe. Um, Bryson and Ryan were doing pretty good on the outside for what these cars can do out there. So it would have been a good race if we had a couple more laps. And I know you have a lot of people you want to thank. Yeah, I got to thank my dad first and foremost for working on the car every week. I got to thank my sister and my grandpa and my mom for coming out to support me. Dunright Auto Service, Route 6 Automobile, Kia, and Spring Villa. All right, one more time, your third place finisher. Better and better every week. This car is also getting better and faster every week. Yeah, this is insane because we went from finishing seventh almost every week to now having two podiums in the season, which is nowhere close to our last season. What is it about this car that makes it so different, you think, from last season? It's hit a lot more wells and a lot more donor marks on her. <laughs> the honest answer is always the best answer. Dad has been busting shops all season to get this thing going. I know there's a lot more people you want to thank. I just want to thank my full family, especially my dad, because he's put so many hours in this, and smart, smart apartments, finished great excavating, held yourself scope, power equipment, signed by six, and the side best podcast. One more time, Bryson Robido. Finally, finally, Colin Vaness is in victory lane. We knew it was coming. We didn't know when. How does this feel? It was really good to finally go pick up a win at um, Seagog Speedway. It was a great race, but everyone's glad to be able to get a win here. So you were out for him for most of this race. Did you think when that red flag came, did you think that you were going to get past maybe on that outside? Because the outside lane was going really, really strong for others all race. Yeah, it was really going. Um, but once the red flag came out, I took that second to like, reset my mind and make sure I had a good mindset and go on in this thing. And I know you have a lot of people you want to thank. My mom, my dad, uh, my brother, Ronnie Willow, Jacob Burns, uh, all my sponsors, International CDL, Lamar and Sons, um, TP Concepts, ZF Lawns, and Capel's Rescue, and a, &A Water Parts. Colin Vanessa Jr., welcome to Victory Lane.